What's happening, friends? It's Podcast Unlocked, episode 246 for, my goodness, May 19th already. We're a day late. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm Ryan McCaffrey, and I'm back. I had the flus last week. I think I had all of them <laughs> at the same time. Mm-hmm. All of the flus. It was not, not a pleasant experience. I was actually better on Wednesday. It was a three-day ordeal. Mm. Oh, but boy. it was, you know, Wednesday was the, like, I'm not going to come in and lock myself in a room with everybody when, yeah, I've, just, sure. when I've just been, like... Real. I don't even want to describe what was going Not on. Not ready it was to be bad. released back in the public. <laughs> it was bad. Uh, Destin Legary, good to see you. You're I'm, back. I've also returned, yes. Yeah, except that you had a much more pleasant experience than yeah. I did. I was in China and Thailand, and I swam in the Andaman Sea. Uh, with some fishes, it was great. That's awesome. Yeah. But you had some trouble getting there, according to your Twitter uh, yeah. account. Fun fact: you need a visa to go to China. <laughs> Didn't you know heard that it was here a thing. thing? You heard Didn't it here thing. first. You, you need were... a visa to go to a bunch of places, actually. Huh. And you were I able to get one that quickly, huh? Yeah. That only but to get your... into Thailand, they're like, "You're American, go ahead. We don't care." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then uh, I was with uh, other people who were from China traveling, and uh, my girlfriend her parents yeah. and uh, they had to like go through this whole ordeal oh, to get man. into Thailand and for me I just like I got right through you got to just walk right in I basically walked in nice huh. yeah that's very strange what different different uh, yeah. parent standards there are and different rules right. and regulations so it was hard for me <laughs> to get to China but once I got to China it was p- pretty painless and then yeah and then yeah. the tables turned and then the tables turned yeah <laughs> did you have a good time and you, you you said you'd never been there before right I mean that's uh, yeah I've that's never an been awesome there getaway you were gone for three two three weeks it's like two it, it was two weeks and a few days but that's like great. a few of those days I just stayed home and played quantum break <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I finally uh, had like time so I'm like oh, I'm gonna play all these games did you finish we, it I got three fourths through. Okay, yeah, so yeah. you're you're not to the end, the, no, the last no, no, no. boss that we were that super disliked. griping about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, why did you drop off? What do you mean? Like, why did you did you stop playing because you went to China? Yeah. Because yeah. I was the same way. I got about three fourths through Quantum Break, and I was like, oh, okay. I'm, 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 I'm basically right. playing through the game to see the next movie. Right. Oh, okay. you know? so, hey, I was yeah. doing that too. I, I yeah. liked the rewards. Like we yeah. talked about, yeah. uh, you know, however many shows ago that was. I guess God, a month ago now because yeah. that game came out a month ago. Yeah, yeah, I liked it as sort of the the reward for just like, yeah. okay, now I'm going to sit back and watch this, yeah. watch this show. That was actually a good show. I liked yeah. it. Yeah, it was, it was really pretty good. good. It had kind yeah. of a you know the Sci-Fi Channel yeah. look to it, but yeah. it, was, it was pretty well put together. Mm-hmm. So the the mystery man speaking is a man that uh, a lot of you may not be familiar with. Mark Medina, good Hello. to see you. I didn't go anywhere. I'm covering for Destin, so I've, <laughs> I live here at IGN. Making your <laughs> unlocked debut. Yeah. Filling in for uh, Alano is MIA, and Marty is actually having a fill in on Up at Noon for I think Max this week. He mm-hmm. oh, might have been okay. sick or something. So everybody's rearranged. It's just like <laughs> yeah. a big game of musical chairs. Uh, I appreciate everybody waiting an extra day for the show. I yeah. selfishly didn't want to miss two weeks in a row yeah. after <laughs> being after being out sick last week. I'm kind of glad you missed a few weeks because I'm less behind on trivia. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Well, yeah, the, selfishly. You, yeah, you guys yeah. didn't. They, nobody. They didn't play last week yes. without oh, me around, oh, which, which makes sense because mm-hmm. it's literally like, missed nothing. That's good. They, they can't award Perfect. themselves points. My plan uh. to give you the flu worked flawlessly. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> now it all comes to light yeah. afterwards. Uh, I want to remind people that the IGN mobile app got uh, updated in a big way. It's a lot faster. Mm. It's easier to look at. It shows full, full headlines. headlines now Yay. instead of having to click through to things. Yeah. So that's a little better. So if you either have never used the mobile app for IGN, give it a shot. If you haven't used it in a while, it'll update for you and give it another look if you would. Mm. Yeah. Even, uh, the, even the mobile website's like way yes. different now. Yeah, for Four sure. Headlines. Awesome. So the reason that I am, uh, the reason we're doing this a day late, because I was in LA earlier this week for mm-hmm. the E3 Judges Week. So yeah. uh, it's a weird, it's a very strange event that they do. It, But it has, a, it, it it's kind of works as a preview of E3 in the sense that all the E3 judges, of which I am one, uh, get sort of a, a less hectic look at some of the some of the games, it's because mm-hmm. it's voluntary for whichever publishers show up. So, so would you call it pre three? Totally. All right, that's it. <laughs> yes. I see it. We did it. Yeah. <laughs> just Martin, drop the mic and and your your just debut disappear. is a success. Whoa. He's just gone. <laughs> Puff of smoke. So uh, yeah, I'll have coverage hitting between now and E three for some of these things. And cool. uh, yeah, it was it was kind of nice to to get out and just have like a warm up, like like you know a lot of. St- Got to train. Like I'm at the point now, 35. I got to train for E3 because yeah. you're standing around all day mm-hmm. and you're walking around. Mm-hmm. So you can't just. It's not like your 20s where you can just roll out of bed and go to E3. I got to like, 
make sure that I've got a little fitness going. <laughs> After being in uh, Bangkok, 110 degree heat, walking around all day, uh, I'm good. It's like so <laughs> cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That it's, was my it's training. It's so cold yeah. here now. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, the wind today is just like yeah. no it's thanks. Been, it's been hot in San Francisco, and today all of a sudden it's like really chilly. Yeah. It's yeah. awesome. Thanks, San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, what else? Okay, yeah. Let's get to the the well, a main topic for this week's show, and that is I wanted to talk about Doom because it came out yeah. last Friday. Yeah. So after we recorded last week, advance review copies weren't sent out. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've all had a chance. No, I think you finished it, Mark. Oh no, I've not, oh, not finished. Okay, so none of us have far. finished. No. no. But uh, so, where are you? I am. Uh, have you guys met Olivia Pierce? Yes. Okay, so I'm like a little bit after that. Okay. I think I just got there. Okay. So okay. We're all like, like, like me, a, me and you, you are. You somewhat press close. the button, and there's a like it reveals a lady, right? Yeah. So I just yeah. finished okay. that that really weird stage where it's like you have to climb to the top of just what you needed, you know, a mm-hmm. vertical like platforming level. Right. Mm-hmm. But it's actually handled pretty well. Yeah. And uh, it, was, it was pretty fun. Uh, so the Arden on, Tower. Yeah, so I'm on the level after that level. Hell. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Come on, spoilers. No, I literally finished the level, and I was like, okay, I'm done. Oh, you like, save I was done for the night. Yeah. So that's, yeah. that was the last thing I remember doing. Yeah, so I'm a, I'm just past that as well. Oh, okay. So you're near there, too. I think I'm there. Close to there. Close to there. But then yeah. I played on the stream with Naomi yesterday for two hours, who was past that. Okay. Actually in hell. So I've seen, like, the Barons and all that right. stuff. Right. So, so none of us have finished. That's the caveat. No. But... Uh, this is a game everybody at Judges Week was talking about it last week. Yeah. Partially because yeah. it's a new release, partially because mm-hmm. it's there's a lot to talk about about you know because either it it is a game that seems to engender strong feelings one way or the other, and I think most of those strong feelings have been very very positive so yeah. far. Yeah. What do you think of it so far, Destin? So a lot of people have been extremely positive about it, almost to the point where I'm just like, I don't know if we're playing the same game. I like Doom. Yeah. I think I think it's a good game. It's fun. It's a shooter. But uh, it's getting a lot of praise for like its upgrade system and the collectibles that you want to get and stuff mm-hmm. like that and how they the handle. The little toys? Those things are so Yeah, cool. the little toys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, it's neat, but I'm like, it's not necessarily as revolutionary as yeah. people are saying. And uh, like, I like it. I'm enjoying finding the collectibles and grabbing the stuff and upgrading my guns. I like the, the systems that are in place. Uh, I don't really understand why people seem to think it's so fantastic, though. Mm. I'm like, it's good. I don't know that it's special. Sure. I think I think it's because, uh, I mean, I agree, it is good. We'll mm-hmm. talk more about why. But I think people are very uh, high on it and re- because it's, a, it's refreshing in the sense that it is taking what was old and making it new again and making yeah. the new look kind of old. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, because it, it really does, it, it's, it does a great job. It's impossible to just recapture the original Doom. Right. Like, that's just not a thing that's possible. It's mm-hmm. That was a game from 1993. Mm-hmm. Everything's changed since then, and you just can't make that same thing. If you, if you did, it wouldn't be any good, probably. But what it does really well is it just takes that, the sort of spirit of it that pushing the action. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I like about yeah. it is that most, you know, most games, most shooters now, you get banged up in battle, and you kind of like retreat back behind something, and then maybe try to just pick your yeah. way, like just pop yeah, yeah, out yeah. and pick guys this off. Game now it's not, like there's this no game, point in doing that. If you're almost dead, you got to go kill something. Right. Yeah. You ha- yeah. It, yeah. it actually the design mm-hmm. forces you to actually move closer in. Yeah. And like, okay, I'm uh, crap. I'm almost dead. I need health. Yeah. How can I get health? Find the biggest enemy <laughs> in the fight. <laughs> yeah. Take it out, get and do the glory kill mm-hmm. on it, and you'll get a font the, the, of health. The, the, the fountain of health, yeah. <laughs> yeah. health candy. That yeah. just that is definitely an aspect I, I really really enjoy about Doom. The, that it does push the action. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they did that very well. Well, let let me take you for a walk, pack a lunch. Uh, uh, so in 2013, a game came out called Duke Nukem Forever. Yeah, Hail not, to the king, not baby. a great. I knew that was coming. <laughs> not a great game. Uh, and the point of that game was like it was going to be a blast from the past. And he makes fun of Halo armor and he makes fun of puzzles, but yet he does all those things. They, you, mm-hmm. It has a regenerating shield in the game. Right. You are only allowed to carry two weapons. Yeah. Uh, which one is the boss weapon? So you're actually only allowed to carry one weapon, and then. Um, and then you do all these sorts of puzzles, and it's like Doom. I think is that blast from the past that everybody is waiting for, yeah. because it's like, 
like <laughs> is so awesome. He like he he had to like turn off these things, and the guy's like, "This is how you have to turn it off." And he just kicks just his crushes leg up it. and just yeah. crushes it. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's like anytime anything's like a machine's talking to him, he just like throws it into the wall. And, oh yeah. And then yeah, the the whole like non regenerating hell. Yeah. The fact that even on consoles they they figured out a great way to to make it where you can carry a full arsenal of weapons and you could switch. Yeah, really the fast. weapon wheel's really good. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's one of those things. I think it's like you play twenty. 13 Duke Nukem and you're like this is mm, this is not good this is not a blast from the past where I think Doom is a blast from the past that is a, a blast to play it's I think been modernized I yeah. think an interesting yeah. difference is that Duke Nukem forever was it, it is literally made you know it's not a, it's not a modern <laughs> game that's it's not a modern game it's not a modern take on classic gameplay it's right it's uh, it's an old game that just happened to come out because yeah. it took 13 years yeah. to make, whereas Doom is a game made now, but in mm -hmm. the spirit of that. And it's funny you bring up Duke because... <laughs> You know, with that, the, the fact that Doom is kind of self-aware and a little cheeky, you know, yeah, the stuff you're talking yeah, about yeah. where he, like, you know, he crushes the, the panels instead of just flipping <laughs> them off, you know, flipping the switches off. I've actually found myself, like, uh, I brought Jose Otero with me to the Judges Week, yeah. and he brought his PS4, mm, and we, we spent the nights playing Doom after, cool. after everything was over, yeah. just because the, the PS4 travels. Mm -hmm. It's the easiest oh, yeah, thing yeah, to yeah. travel with, yeah. uh, uh, system-wise. And so he was he was about actually in the same spot we're all talking about. So okay. it's funny we're all like kind of right mm -hmm. in the same place. <laughs> and as he was going, as he's playing, I kind of found myself like sort of in that vibe of cheekiness. Like he would he would you know smash dudes and I, yep. you know monster heads. And I just started like I just started doing uh, Duke impressions and just saying shit See, yeah. so the, and, the see, and, that's, and that's what I was thinking. I'm like, am I the only one like comparing this to Duke Nukem? Because this is, I'm getting that vibe. I think there's something vibe. to uh, that. I, but yeah, I, I definitely I, thought of it. Yeah. Jose and I were just playing and I was like, he's not getting up from that wood. <laughs> you know, so, I don't know why I felt compelled to do that because uh, it makes no, you know, it, that Duke has nothing to do with the new Doom, but. You, you definitely get that vibe. Even like the weapon upgrades, he like puts his gun in and then like, Smashes the thing away because he's it's a yeah. it's an awesome game. Yeah, yeah and uh, it's all about attitude. Yeah. yeah, it is, and it's it's interesting that to go kind of behind the scenes on the process of of the lead up to Doom's release. You know, as we talked about, we we warned everybody last week there were no advance review copies right. sent out of Doom. Now, yeah. don't cry for us. It's like oh, you didn't get your free game <laughs> early. Oh, when, but. Whenever that happens, you know, we, you we, were, we were careful not to judge, you notice, right. on, if you listen back to last week's show, because that's not fair. But it is, history has taught us that if, like a film that doesn't get screened ahead of yeah, release, yeah. if a game is not uh, screened ahead of, of release either, you know, if review copies aren't sent out, that's a red flag. Yeah. You know, a lot of times, it, it's not always the case, but that's usually, it's often not a good sign. Well, it's like the Assassin's Creed Unity thing, where we did get the game early, but the embargo was tw 12 hours after the game came out. And you're <laughs> yeah. like, this that's is weird. really weird. Yeah, and yeah. So, so I'll tell you, so, the, you know, my worry when, when that, because so I was all set to review Doom. I was yeah. very much looking forward to it. You know, Doom was, I was talking to Jose at the airport yesterday on our way back, and there have been a f there have been a very small few number of just utterly transformative games in my life where there's been everything before that game and everything after that game. <laughs> Super the original Super Mario Brothers, of sure. course, because yeah, that yeah. was like my first. And then uh, Doom was one of those games, and Grand Theft Auto Three was mm. one of those games. And so Doom has always meant so much to me that I was really looking forward to reviewing the new Doom because I figured one way or the other. I have such history with this that I'm going to have something to say about this game. Yeah, for sure. Either it's I'm going to come in full circle. Right. Yeah. Either I'm going to be like championing the hell out of it, like yes, this did a great job, or I'm going to be like, nope, this this is why this you know doesn't live up to the originals and doesn't you know whatever the case was going to be. I knew I would have something to say about that game, so I was really looking forward to reviewing it. But because I was leaving for the judges' week on Monday and we didn't get the game until Friday. Yeah. Couldn't do it, which just personally, professionally, made me sad to do. Yeah. But uh, it's it's interesting that the game has been 
in fact, very well received overall. Yeah, I, very I think well the reason received. people are going a little to, to answer your question from earlier, like why we're going a little overboard, is when we were allowed to play the beta, we only got multiplayer. Yeah, and so I think a lot of us thought that that's what the game was going to be. Was, people aren't was so hot on the multiplayer. Yeah, and that and that's and it, the game comes out, and we hadn't seen much single player. The game comes out, and it's actually the single player that that really makes that game. Yeah, and so I think that's I think. Most of it's like just being pleasantly surprised that the single player is so good yeah. that it's like it's just much better than we thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it's you know the, I think we were because tr- we were trying to analyze like why aren't they sending this out? You know yeah. why didn't they send it out ahead of time? And especially after it comes in and and does get very well received, we're thinking yep. okay, well, so publishers do this thing. This is another like weird behind the scenes thing. Publishers do a thing called mock reviews. Yes. yes. Where when their game is almost done, they actually hire freelance uh, writers writers yeah. to come in, give you a heads and, up, and and actually review the game. And they yeah. write something up and they give it a score, and so that publishers kind of have an idea, a general idea of what of how a game is going to do. So yeah. we were all kind of thinking, okay, well the mock like they've been running this. They've been trying to build up their hype. You know, they're getting all their pre-orders. They got. They've been releasing all those great trailers that we've mm-hmm. been praising the heck out of. Like their yeah. trailers have been so well cut together. We were kind of thinking, okay, well, if they're not sending it out, that must mean it's been mock reviewing in like the you know the 60s or 70s, and they're afraid that having those reviews out, people will cancel their pre-orders. And then it turns out like we all really like it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. I mean, the IGN review is a seven point one, which is which is on the lower side. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, yeah. so far I feel better about it than that. I mean, I I don't think I'm disrespecting our reviewer who's out of Australia mm-hmm. by saying, but uh, again, caveat: I haven't. None of us yeah, have finished, finished the game. Right, right, right. Yeah. Maybe maybe this you know this awesome action gets super dull by hour yeah. eight well, or nine. Have either we don't you know. even jumped in the multiplayer yet? Besides what we no, played, not the beta. since the beta. Yeah, so yeah, not, in the, not I, in the new release. It's, it's, since I've been playing retail, I've not even but, touched the multiplayer but or yeah, Snap like, Mat. But I yeah, haven't tried that either. Right, and which uh, which apparently you can do some neat stuff with. So yeah, I hear it's really uh, cool. But in any case, yeah, you know, it's so we may feel differently, and it's that's the thing. It's like a lot of. You know the the classic one that the internet loves to always remind me about <laughs> is Alien Isolation. A lot of yeah. people on yeah. this team, yeah. on on IGN, felt very very differently about mm-hmm. Alien Isolation than I did. But it's you know the review. Yes, it speaks for the outlet, but it's one person's opinion, and yeah. it's healthy yeah. and normal for us to feel differently about mm-hmm. things. So, in the end, my my only real worry, and this is how it affects people watching or listening, is that Doom being. Uh, very well received and not having advanced review copies sent out will sort of set a precedent and publishers will start not sending the games out and what I the, don't think that so. that's i mean yes it's bad for us but what what's unfortunate about that then is if there are no reviews out there for our audience then they don't necessarily have any idea when a game is coming out so i yeah. I, I hope all the publishers aren't going to follow the lead because I think Doom is, is totally a fringe case. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Fallout was kind of the same way. We got it pretty late, you know, so, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alana's peeking in. Do you want me to come in? She, mm-hmm. it, we you don't just got to gra- grab a chair, yeah. got to yeah. grab a mic. <laughs> uh, that's too much effort. Have fun. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. We'll Bye. see you next week. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Alana Pierce, everyone, making her off mic cameo that you probably couldn't even hear. Uh, Anyway, yeah. So I think I think that was it for our Doom chat. Anyway, yeah. So sure. so far so good. The, to recap, so far We're so all good. It. Love it. We're all good liking stuff. it. It's very refreshing. People have been asking me on Twitter, should I buy it? Should I buy it? I'm not done with it yet. Yeah. But I will say, through four or five hours, I'm having a really good time. And thus far, I would recommend it. Yeah. We'll see how. I love that I can play on my desk for like five ten minutes just before a meeting or something, yeah. and Get then to, just do a couple checkpoints and just yeah. stop. Yeah, you yeah. know, you can just do it in bite-sized chunks like that. So uh, it's really good for like people with families and stuff like that. Also, the way the yeah. you know the chainsaw was a classic weapon in the original Doom. The yeah, way yeah, it's yeah, implemented yeah. in this game is so good. It's like yeah, the super awesome. weapon. It's so good, good yeah. with limited amounts of yeah. gas. You have yeah. to gas it up. Yeah, but it's it so up. great yeah. because it, it it causes the enemy to spawn so much ammo. So yes. it's like it's it's like a rinse repeat kind of thing where it's like <laughs> yeah. you you. Use all your guns ammo, and then you go crazy with the chainsaw. Get all your ammo back. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, love it. So, uh, be curious to hear what everybody out there is thinking of Doom. 
Again, the IGN review is up. There are some reviews out there. We're liking it so far, yeah. and uh, I'm hopefully by this by the time next week's show airs, I'll be done with it and can really kind of give my my full personal take. All right. Uh, oh, I wanted to add too that I was thinking about this with uh, with Jose on on our trip. You know, between Doom and Super Hot, which just came out for Xbox One. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Talk about two like super much needed fre- yeah. breaths of fresh air yeah. for the first person shooter genre, right? Super hot is so awesome. Yeah, so we great. were playing super hot like on PC back when it yeah. came out. It is great. Yeah, yeah. the game really just cool like came shooter. out. It's like our audience. I mean, they they liked uh, the videos and made, but I remember me and Destin we played it for like two days straight. We're like yeah. this little game that you can beat in like three hours. I played that yeah. game for like two straight days. That Very game is fun. awesome. Yeah. yeah, I really hope that we see more uh, more just mix-ups in the first-person shooter genre. Like, yeah. let's see some more cool ideas like what these two games are bringing to the table. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's come right back and do some news for you right after this. All right, news time for Destin and Mark and myself. Yeah. I'm down in L.A. Uh, first up, the big thing here, Rockstar. They may, may be announcing their next big thing soon, because mm-hmm. all Rockstar does is big things. That's yeah. right. so it's like, <laughs> well, Every game is an event. <laughs> all of last year, Rockstar didn't release anything. Yeah. Nothing new. Mm-hmm. I mean, they, they, they continued to support GTA Online in a crazy, and regular, free way. And still top the charts way. every single month yep, with every, GTA Five Every yeah. single month, but no new games from Rockstar last year. Yeah. We'll see if this year is going to be any different. Uh, it, their next thing may be getting revealed at E3, and I mean, I'm going to guess it's probably not GTA 6 yet, since those games are typically five years. Probably, year probably, not. probably not. Uh, LA Noir 2. No. Probably not. Oh, okay. Probably. Even though I love that game. <laughs> uh, but it's reasonable. So, I mean, you can pretty much narrow it down. Bully 2 has been sort of murmured about for a while. Mm. Will they go back to Max Payne? Uh, most likely, though, the Ping pong. heavily. Nailed it. Oh. <laughs> Rockstar Table Rockstar Tennis. Rockstar Table Tennis 2. <laughs> Uh, paddle harder. Finally, <laughs> that's the, that's the I've been title. waiting. <laughs> now, what do the people really want? Yeah, Red Dead yeah. Redemption. Well, one of the threat. thing we've been hearing about yeah. leaks, alleged leak maps. maps yeah, exactly stuff. right. Yeah. So, from Take Two's quarterly earnings report, there's this little nugget: "Quote, looking ahead, we expect to grow non-GAAP revenues and f- earnings in fiscal 2018." Blah 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 based on a robust development plan that extends well beyond the current fiscal year. Rockstar Games is, of course, hard at work on some exciting future projects. That will be revealed soon. There's that take place in the past. (laughs) Ah. Future projects. From back in time. But I thought Rockstar did not go to E3. They don't. They don't. Yeah, usually their partners present. Exactly. Oh, trailer, oh because yeah. like Take Two is going to have like their whole uh, their own thing, right? Or at least no, they're no, going to no. be the one. Destin's referring to like a, mm. was it two years ago? They were on Sony stage yeah. for. Oh, okay. Was it the? It was just it the, was PS, grand, the PS4 version. PS4 right? PC version of GTA, I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah of yeah, GTA sure. Five. Okay. So, yeah, the ex- I would expect an Xbox, of course, but it was on Sony State, so they didn't really mention that. It was right. like well, a that's super it, tiny. That's text. how it goes. <laughs> yeah. Also coming there. Yeah. So. Uh, that's are we in a grid? It, it's got to be it's Red, be Red Dead, Dead right? I yeah. hope There's no it's doubt. It's Red Dead. If it's Red anything Dead. else, I'm going to be so disappointed. What, I, what I'm hoping for, because Red Dead Redemption never got a PC port, mm-hmm. so what I'm hoping for is we'll get the Dishonored treatment that we got, which was Dishonored 2 is announced. It's coming out here, but we're here. Here's a HD remaster of the first right. Dishonored for those that well, missed it. I'm hoping we'll get Red Dead for you know PS4 and and Xbox Red One, Dead. and finally a PC port. They, for a w- little while there, you could play Red Dead backwards compatible. Did yeah, they ever that. fix that and make it so that it's just yeah, you can play Red Dead? Backwards? That's a good. Maybe you can look that up while we yeah. uh, <laughs> while we while we keep talking because I was just thinking the same thing yeah. too. Like, but I mean, yeah. couple that with right. also here's Red Dead next or whatever. You're right, but yeah. I think that the point Destin's trying to drive at is that the lack of backwards compatibility could be an indication that you're correct. They, they want to come out with an Xbox One version. Exactly. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, th- that team, it was the Rockstar San Diego team, yeah. which, fun fact, once a pr- in the pre-Red Dead Redemption days, was the Midnight Club team. Oh, okay. So you talk about going from, talk about changing gears, sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you go from you go from a street f- racing game to Red Dead Redemption, this crazy open world who western. Who did Revolver? Capcom, but I forget who developed it. Oh, okay. But Capcom published it. Oh, it may have been a Capcom internal development team, too. Got anything, Destin? Yeah, it looks like no. 
Still it no. Was, it was a test. That I they remember said that. they were doing a test. Yeah, and mm. everybody flipped out like, yes, it's it's compatible, and like there was. It spread like wildfire, and then it disappeared. Uh, I, I totally think it's going to be a, a double announcement. Red Dead's coming to H, you know, next gen or current gen. Yeah. Plus Red Dead Two. Later you, I think you might be onto something this with year. that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah I'd, love to, I'd love to play it again. Boy, if if Red Dead Redemption Two suddenly appeared as a and it was going to be a fall 2016 game. Oh my god. I would be terrified if i were an, another, another <laughs> third party publisher releasing a yeah. big game going up against yeah. rockstar with that like Bethesda man. did it last year and hopefully hopefully and, well, that's, and everybody hopefully that and everybody everybody scattered you yeah. know everybody except for rise away. of the tomb raider <laughs> they Heck. stuck to their guns still that game was good game of, my game of the year vote <laughs> oh, for that, last year no, that game's proudly awesome. that game's super awesome uh all right so stay tuned eat we could get something on the rockstar front out of e3 uh i mean Pro, I mean, probably it's going to be Sony stage just based on the history. You know, they, yeah. Not that they have a bad relationship with Microsoft, but they've tended to lean Since in Sony's direction. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Going back to the, the pre-Xbox mm -hmm. yeah. days. So we'll see. Uh, but keep an eye out of that on that for E3. By the way, everybody's been asking us, when are you guys going to do your E3 prediction show? Probably like literally the week before. Yeah. Because... <laughs> Otherwise, things will just get announced, and we'll be we'll be wrong before we even get to here. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather only be wrong for one week instead of like three. Yeah. So we will do an E3 prediction show. I promise you. Mm. All right. Next on the list here, after being leaked not once but twice. Speaking of remasters, Mark yeah. Medina, the Batman. Destin's shaking his head, it's not happy a, with it's this. It's such a silly thing. It's, it's yeah. yeah. Batman, for one, it was obvious. For two, I don't like the collection. Let me, let me spit it out first before <laughs> we start. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Batman Return to Arkham has officially been announced by Warner Brothers. It is a, of course, bundle pack. Now, you would think, oh, a new-gen Batman remaster. So that's got at least the three Rocksteady games in it, right? No. no. It's got... Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. Mm -hmm. And that's it. No Origins. Yeah. No Knight, which of course Knight's already a, a yeah. Xbox One game. But uh, yeah, a studio called Virtuous is doing the remasters, which is a studio that had done the remasters for Final Fantasy X, obviously uh, on the uh, uh, more so on the, the Sony side there, and Heavy Rain. So mm -hmm. not as much familiarity with uh, with the Xbox crowd. I didn't know these guys till till I looked it up, but mm. I'm glad that they updated these games. But I played them so many times, you know. Like I, I did the I have guide never for both. Them. <laughs> really? I mean, does yeah, this no, interest you them. then? So here's why I'm angry. I'll tell you why right now. <laughs> go. Okay. So, so we, well, before you go, let's let me just note that this this is they're putting more work into this than I had expected. In yeah. that mm. the new these engine. two games, yeah, are being yeah, the, redone Unreal in 4. Unreal Four, yeah. which is pretty cool. So they should. It's they're not just being file save as 1080p. Yeah, sure. They're being redone in Unreal 4, so that's mm. pretty cool. The game already I looks like phenomenal, but yeah. yeah, no, it's just the same thing as with the Uncharted collection. I don't know why they didn't put uh, you know, Golden Abyss in there, and I know that was made by Bend and not Naughty Dog, but it's like it's just kind of like if you're gonna call it the Un Nathan Drake Uncharted collection, I feel like I feel like uh, Golden Abyss should have been in there, and so it's the mm. same thing where it's like I don't understand. Why they don't? Why they're not putting Origins in it for one? Yeah, just because it was made by it, uh, Montreal, WB Montreal, right? Yeah, and it's like I don't know. A lot of people don't like that game. I think it's just because it doesn't have Rockstar. Well, Steady's you, name may, above you it. make me. That's the thing. You yeah. make a good point. Hold on a sec, real quick, Destin. You make a good point that uh, a lot of people did skip Origins. Yeah, because it was kind of you know it's not part of the Rockstar or the Rocksteady, Rocksteady trilogy. trilogy. But wouldn't this? Wouldn't this uh, Ark Return to Arkham pack be a good chance to expose people to exactly. Origins that didn't exactly. see it? And maybe they'd be like, hey, I really like this. And maybe that makes them go out and buy Arkham Knight if they didn't already buy oh, it. Well, and a, a, a lot of the problems that people have with Origins where the combat feels different and stuff like that, this could have been their chance to go back and kind of clean that up and be like, hey, you guys didn't like Origins before. Not only are you getting the first two games, but now we've fixed Origins. Right. Yeah. And and so th I feel like it would make a uh, more complete package. Also, like get the voice actors to like maybe redo their lines if they're going to go all out. You know, who knows? They could. Were they what bad they in done. Origins? No, they didn't have Kevin Conroy, and they didn't have yeah, but Troy uh, Baker. Well, is the Troy Baker was, was he was really good though. Still. He was like a dead ringer for yeah, for him. Really but it's Mark Hamill in every other game except True. that one. 
Yeah, you know, well, they, that would, they'd have to pay Hamill a fortune, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure they had to cough up uh, to get him to do this killing joke yeah. Yeah. animated movie that's... Well, he said was after, Conroy in Origins? I can't remember. You know, he's not, not in Origins. Yeah, because he, right? he was whole, a young Batman. Yeah, the yeah, whole yeah. point was the Joker and Batman are both way younger. Yeah. And so it's like a lot of people say Troy Baker sounds a little different. And they're like, well, that's because he's a younger Joker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I wonder if there's some politics involved in this for why... You know, I wonder if at that time Hamill and Conroy said they'd never do those voices again. And then they did. That's for true. Night. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That Rock said he got him to come back. But as far as this collection goes, I wonder if there's some politics involved in the sense of Rocksteady is a you know they're I don't know them. I don't know if they're divas or if they're all super nice people. But it's possible that WB said, okay, well we're doing this uh, this remaster pack. You know, we're just putting this out. We own you guys. We can do whatever we want. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if Rocksteady went, you are not, you are only putting our games in this. You are not putting any other They shouldn't have game. that call, though. They don't own the IP. Well, but they don't have the call. But you, if you're WB, you want to keep them happy. That's yeah. true. You do want to keep those guys happy. Now, I'm not saying I'm completely making this up out of, right, out right, of nothing. Right. For all I know, Rocksteady said... Sure, put in anything yeah. you want, and it was WB's call to be like, "Well, we're just going to do the first two games." They should have just but, called it Batman: Return to Rocksteady. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, that's, I like that. That would have been uh, that would have been a good way to go. But yeah, so you know, for me, we all know I'm not a big fan of remasters in general, but there is the that we we talk about the opposite of the statute of limitations with remasters, where it's if it, it's got to be old enough. Yeah. To be to to sort of not make me think it's just a cash grab, yeah. Uh, and and the, I think I mean Asylum was two thousand nine. They're old enough, you know. And and even old. City was two thousand eleven. So City's so good. Like I don't City's know how, my favorite of the how three. are they going to make that look better? City well, is just so great. And like once you beat that game, it's just like you feel more compelled to go back and fix right. the city because there's a ton of stuff still yeah. to do and like the city's still messed up. I don't know, just with night, just like once I was done, I was done with that game. Yeah, I mean, I'm mm. curious. I, I agree. Yeah, I, yeah. City's my favorite of the three, but yeah. I do think there's a... Uh, I don't think I'm going to go back to these because I have already played the heck out of them yeah. like you, but I, I appreciate that there's more than the minimum amount of effort being put into this. I'd kind of like to see it be less... It's 50 bucks. It's not 60, but yeah, I would have... Would like to see them be forty, you know, twenty dollars yeah. per game, but yeah. you know, I guess I'm kind of splitting hairs at that point. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I got all the achievements in both Arkham Asylum and I think City also, but it was on a dev kit, so it doesn't quite doesn't count. count. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the real world can't see it. City was the first game where I played through it. I did the guide for it on IGN, yep. and then uh, Retail came out, and I'm like, I want to start again. And I played through like I think most of the campaign again. Yeah. You know, so yeah. Yeah, if uh, that would be the one. I mean, Asylum was great, but I think City just improved upon it in every conceivable way. It was way. so good. If yeah. you haven't played Arkham City, that's the that's the one I think you got to go for. Yeah, the story in that game is very good, shocking and yeah. excellent. Uh, play through the entire City campaign. Even the DLC with like Robin and stuff was pretty fun. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So keep an eye out for that. That is coming uh, around the. It's right about the same time that the. Uh, we just mentioned the Killing Joke animated yeah. movies. That mm -hmm. They're coming out right about the same time later on this summer. All right. Next on the list here, we really need just podcast producers to sit here and do all these. Uh, no, turn, turn, turn my page. I just pause and derail the show yeah, as turn, I'm taking time codes. Turn my page. Uh, host, hashtag host problems. <laughs> Good news. Unravel. It's getting a sequel. This makes mm -hmm. me happy. Really liked Unravel. Did you guys play Unravel? So I played it here for work. Um, yeah. I couldn't decide if I loved it or not. I played like the demo, and I was like, okay, it's cute. That's enough. Cute yeah, puzzle didn't, didn't finish it. Looks beautiful. Uh, no reason for me to really play more than that. So it didn't move you guys? Eh, I was yeah. I got I got done playing. I I own it because uh, IGN gave it to me, and I still just didn't really have any desire to go yeah, back. Fair you know? enough. I was like, eh. Yeah, I really, when we first saw it, actually first saw it at Judges Week last year. We were all very impressed. Yeah, it was yeah. very impressive. It's a beautiful it, game. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. The character is just charming and adorable. And I really hoped it was going to be Limbo-esque, you know, kind mm -hmm. of on that sort of caliber, because it was trying to be 
very much like an emotional experience. Like yeah, this yeah, guy, yeah. this you know, the creator uh, Martin, I forget his last yeah. name. You know, he was in here. He was on the show. Uh, his sort of expression of the story about his his family and his life and his history and yeah. through through this uh, through Yarny. Yeah. And yeah, I don't think it quite hit on that level. And the the last level was, as I ranted on this show at the time, was just really not good. So, oh, okay. So you don't like last, last levels. Just in when they're done, they're, <laughs> yeah. they're, they're often not done yeah. well. Yeah. Be- probably because, I mean, if you think about it, I'm not a game designer, but I would think that the first level of the game, of any game, always gets the most attention. It does, Because yeah. you design yeah. it, you probably redesign it, you're going back through your... Because that's what 100% of your players yeah. right. are going to see. The last level, maybe, what, 10% of your players yeah. are ever yeah. going to see? So it's it's... It's clearly very difficult to end a game well. Next, that's, that's next he's going to say it in like Mass Effect 3's ending. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was fine with it. The, the internet just... Ex- I, so I, my quick story on that is uh, we got it in... We had it very early because back in those days, yeah. I was, you know, it was back in OXM. And, mm-hmm. uh, For Mass was, Effect 3, you were still at OXM? Yes, that was my the end of my run there oh, okay. uh, shortly mm-hmm. before I came over here. Yeah. And... You know, we had it well in advance mm-hmm. to meet our print deadline, and I wasn't reviewing it, but I was playing along, mm-hmm. sure. uh, because of course I love the series. Yeah, and I got to the end of it before the game came out, and I was like, okay, well, that was fine. It wasn't it wasn't great. I kind of liked the I liked the lead up to the ending where you're sort of yeah. saying goodbye to everybody. Yeah, and, like I liked, the, and then the actual ending, I was like, okay, whatever. I, I felt it, let down personally. It didn't, it didn't really move move me yeah. for good or bad and then when it came out and the and the world just exploded Lost their minds. i was kind of i was i was sort of taken by by surprise a bit You're like i didn't hate it that much but okay. yeah. yeah i was just kind of like oh that's it like i was kind of like i expected more like i expected something bigger yeah i think and that's and that's fair you know? that's yeah. fair you know you i wasn't like what <laughs> three games i mean you my you, whole life rah, rah, yeah, rah, you'd rah, put a hundred hours into this i played story through the, i would play through the first one every year wow. uh once a year until two and then when two came out uh i played through it one more time to make sure i had all my choices the yep. way i wanted them mm. then i played through two and before three came out i think i did a playthrough of the entire series to make sure i had my save exactly how i wanted it mm. going into three that's impressive and then so so for me to get that the ending where it's just kind of like one of three cutscenes. yeah you know i'm just like all my choices didn't matter really yeah. You know, in the end, it's it's always yeah. been a problem ending games. People talk about it is, the, it's, the first three Uncharted's, and it's like every, everyone's always oh, underwhelmed by like the last boss. And it's like, why does there even have to be a last boss? And it's yeah, like, and Quantum they, uh, Quantum Break was the same oh, way. It's yeah, like there yeah. there are too many too many last bosses that are just yeah. dumb. Yeah, that are just not. And there's not, a game like Deus Ex where they outsource the boss fights, and it's yeah. totally <laughs> disjointed from the rest of the experience. Yeah, that was every yeah. boss fight though. Yeah, got to dial it back to like. Uh, Doom 2, where you're just fighting <laughs> fighting the mouth of hell itself. That's yeah. a boss fight right there. That's how you end a video game. <laughs> or like other, like, I mean, I won't spoil. Most of the endings, Halos have great like, endings. But it's yeah. like where there is no end boss. They, you know, something happens, some more story, and then the game just kind of ends. Like I'm it, fine know. with that, too. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's fun. Like, I, I, that doesn't bother me. I'd rather have, I'd rather that than have some crappy, overwrought, dumb boss fight yeah. get it yeah. the yeah. way. Sure. But uh, anyway, I'm very happy that Unravel is getting a sequel. Very happy for Coldwood Interactive. Again, you know, Martin was in here, and that game clearly meant a lot to him. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's Yarny is so just so what a great character. It's a simple character, but mm. just instantly lovable. I'm glad we're going to get another outing for uh, for the Red Yarnmeister. <laughs> I've heard him been called that a lot. I heard that's, that's his, his that's nickname. That's his frat nickname. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what they call the him. The Meister. <laughs> Capcom, our, one of him. our favorite publishers. Uh, we've, we've spent a lot of time talking about them on this show. <laughs> mm. They are going to prioritize completeness <laughs> with their games going forward and have that's such good. delayed and unknown an unnamed quantity of, of games in their portfolio. This is probably a response to Street Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> it is exactly. Yeah. You are yeah. correct, my yeah. friend, which of yeah. course we still we you know we're we haven't gotten on Xbox. That is yeah. the the Tomb Raider of the PS4. Yeah. 
No, uh, no Street Fighter Four for us, mm-hmm. or Street Fighter Five, pardon me, for us. Yeah. To ensure games are up to standard, Capcom will carry out development in a way that quote prioritizes completeness over firm development deadlines. For example, many, including Capcom, believe that quote some aspects of Street Fighter Five could have used more polish mm. yeah. at launch. My initial response to this was, or my initial reaction internally was very snarky. Yeah, <laughs> because be, because you know Capcom's already sort of on my my short list of my my yeah. n- not happy you, with. You list. want them to be better, and you I do. you see greatness there, and yeah. it's so frustrating when uh, they stumble. And they're yeah. sitting on so many great IPs. Yeah. And, well, yeah. and they're stumbling a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, and some people like to remind me that, well, you know, Street Fighter V is a big new thing, and uh, mm-hmm. Monster Hunter is a big deal on 3DS. They got a new yeah. one of those coming out. It's like, well, that's all Charged. well and good. But if you are an Xbox gamer, yeah. mm-hmm. Capcom has not been good to you this yeah. generation. That's well, hopefully a fact. we'll hear more about their new whatever they're going to do with Resident Evil. Yeah, I mean, I, I think so. Resident Evil's ripe for a reboot. Yes, a total start yes. over. Just not not a seven. Just like nope. call Resident, Resident Evil. Resident Evil. Start over. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see what they got. Uh, but I, I do want to say, I'm going to skip the snarky response mm-hmm. that I went ahead and I, I played that out in my head. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to just keep it there in my head. But I'll say, I'll say, you know, that I I do applaud Capcom for. Not for doing this necessarily, because people are like, well, of course, they're, they're supposed to be prioritizing completeness and polish, but but for coming out and admitting their mistake. Mm-hmm. Not yeah. a lot of corporation, not a lot of people, let alone corporations, admit mistakes yeah. when they make them. And so good on Capcom for coming out and saying, you know what, we didn't, we didn't get this right. We're going to we're reevaluating internally. We're going to try and be better going forward. There was a while there on the 360. They could do no wrong. Street Fighter 4, Four Resident Commander Evil 5, Rear, Resident yeah, Evil Bionic. 5. Yeah. Uh, when the other Lost one was, Planet. what's it called? Dead, Dead Rising? Yeah, Dead, Dead Rising, Rising uh, Lost, Planet. Uh, Lost Planet. I mean, they were on they fire. Were, yeah. They yeah. were they were quite possibly mm-hmm. my favorite third-party publisher yeah. at mm-hmm. the time. I mean, they were just... Yeah, like you said, they could do no... They were just... Yeah. They were cooking. I mean, their worst game in that era mm-hmm. was the... The uh, full console, the 360 version of Bionic Commando with the wife mm. arm. Yeah, and even oh, yeah, that, yeah. like, I liked that game. Mm-hmm. It wasn't as good as Rearmed, the the XBLA yeah. digital title was, mm. but it was a good game. And like that was their biggest whiff yeah. <laughs> of that time. Yeah. They were just just cooking on mm. everything. So I like seeing them get back to those days. I hope so. I mean, yeah. I, I hope you're right, Mark. I hope we get a Resident Evil reboot announced at E3. Mm-hmm. I hope yeah. we. I, I hope we get Des. It should be about time for Dead Rising Four if we're going to get one. Yeah, as a launch Xbox One. Exactly. Yeah. So you know that's uh, I those still have 20, that one sitting on my, on my 2013, console which play. means so they've been working on uh, that's um, boy I can never remember their their studio name change names. They're in Vancouver. It was uh, Blue Shift. What the heck's their name? But they, ch- they change names. Capcom Vancouver. I think, th- I think they are literally <laughs> called, I, but they, I, I always think of them by their if old name. If that's correct, that's amazing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so it's they've been working on something for two and a half yeah. years. You it's got to be high time to announce it, right? Dead Rising. But yeah. I wonder, because Microsoft bankrolled that game. Oh, right. Remember? Like, right. that's yeah. why it's an Xbox One exclusive. That's sure. why it's a launch game. You know, how did that game sell? It was Not received pretty well. Anymore. It did eventually right. go to PC. Yeah. But, I mean, but, those yeah, are so I, Well, that's what Xbox now. is doing now. Yeah. yeah. I hope that we haven't seen The Last of Dead Rising. And, in fact, that's probably going to be one of my E3 predictions. I'll give you a free one now. Yeah. I'm going to predict that Dead Rising 4 is announced on the Xbox stage. It's reasonable. Uh, it just seems like it's time. And I don't think that series is dead yet. Because what else would that... That team's got to be up to something. And it seems like... It seems like we're not through with Dead Rising. And I hope we're not. Because, you know, that... I'd love to see what they could do as for their second Dead Rising on the Xbox One, especially on a mature Xbox One platform. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they developed that game on alpha hardware kits mm-hmm. when Kinect was still required. Yeah. Like, yeah. There's been more, yeah. more GPU, CPU mm-hmm. bandwidth opened up since Dead Rising 3 came out. Yeah. I'd love to see a, another, another crack at Dead Rising. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it seems like a lot of Xbox games are, are becoming PC games as well. That too. Mm-hmm. Which which uh, leads us to our next story. <laughs> I tried to Destin Legary. Oh, guys. boy. <laughs> you did it better than, he, than <laughs> Destin hey, did, I'll tell you that much. He's been slacking lately. <laughs> <I'm sad. laughs> 
All right, and that is Halo 5 going to PC. Yes! Sort of. Oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was just announced today. If we recorded yesterday at our normal time, we would have missed this this week. Mm. So uh, we got we at least gained a little bit of a bonus. Good for... job, Judge. Woohoo! <laughs> I did it something right. Yay. The Halo 5 Forge tools are being released for free on Windows 10. Yeah. Which I think is awesome. It makes so mm. much sense. Totally. One of my favorite games when I was growing up was uh, Gary's Mod for Half-Life 2. Or, or you know. For, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was Half-Life mm -hmm. 2, right? Yep. And so it's like those controls and building maps and stuff, they just make so much sense on PC. And yeah. I remember P, uh, you know, when Forge Mode came out, and I'm like, this is cool, but it's... Gary's Mod it's just tricky. feels so much better. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm like, we're finally getting well, here, the Gary's Mod for right. Halo. Right, here's the thing. like People have been making incredible maps and great stuff with, with a yeah. Forge with a gamepad. Yeah. yeah. Like now you've got the, the precision of a keyboard. Well, the precision and, and just that the camera speed. Around and, oh, yeah, you, God, it's going to be awesome. These creators that are, uh, you know, that, that just sink themselves into this will be able to move more quickly and yeah. probably just do better stuff. Yeah. With because they have a better tool set, it's like mm -hmm. you would expect there's going to be like keyboard commands, Control C, like I want this wall here, Control C, V V V, you know, yep, kind yeah. of stuff like that, and be able to just mm -hmm. whip together maps way faster than before. Yeah. So by extension, we all benefit because the yeah. creators all get yeah. better tools, and thus we're going to get better stuff to play with. Interestingly, Halo Five itself still not out on PC. Yeah. The game, but the the tools are. Do you, so. do you think that's going to happen? I, I can't I don't know. think about I mean, that. So I it's don't. like all these games have been coming to PC like Quantum Break and Dead Rising and stuff like that. And I haven't thought about Halo. I I think the answer is no and here's why. Uh I number 1, I think if it was going to happen it would have happened by now. Sure. Mm -hmm. Number 2, Halo 5 came out right and was effectively developed before the big upgrade to Windows 10 for Xbox One. Yeah. So now Halo 6 is being developed on, on the Windows 10 OS right. for Xbox One. I think there's a good chance 6 yeah. hits PC, but I think I think it would they could do 5, but it's just it wouldn't be particularly easy. Now, yeah. I guess the counter argument that somebody could easily make to that is, well, Quantum Break was developed along basically the same timeline that Halo 5 was, and that got a PC version. So, it doesn't rule it out, but I kind of feel like Halo it would Halo's roots are just so stuck on Xbox. We got Halo 1 for PC. And, and Halo 2 Vista for Windows yeah. Vista. Oh, and Everyone's like, favorite Windows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then nothing. And then that was it. I did a dual boot with Vista so I could play Halo 2 on PC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it had those two extra maps that ended up yeah. in the Master Chief Collection that weren't very good. Yeah. Mm. Especially by the Halo 2 standard. But anyway, mm. uh, yeah, so if you are into Forge, or if you've been thinking about wanting to make something in Forge, but think, I don't want to make it on a, with a gamepad, that's, that's like trying to... It's like trying to bake a pizza with a with a with, with a just, game pad with just <laughs> oven with just oven mitts like yeah. <laughs> with like penguin flippers for for hands. Uh, the the sad thing is, I saw Halo Five coming to PC, and I was like, "Did I play that campaign?" Oh yeah, I did. It wasn't very good. Oh, yeah, you blocked it out already. Yeah, That's... I like forgot. It's probably for the best. I really mm. hope six. I really hope they do better with six. You know how you make yourself feel better though? You they play Halo them. Five multiplayer, which mm. continues to be so yes. freaking yeah. amazing. Yeah, the so multiplayer good. zone Stellar. firefight, and yeah. uh, very of fun. course, mm. new maps. All the, oh, so good. Yeah. I, I, so, I somebody hope, in our yeah. oh sorry, somebody in our stream yesterday were like, we're glad to see a game finally come out and like run it as smooth sixty frames. And other people in the stream because they were talking about Doom. Oh and yeah. Other people in the stream were like, did you forget about Halo Five? That game yeah. ran at sixty mm -hmm. single and multiplayer. Yep. Yeah. That game's awesome. Absolutely. So yeah. get to it, Forgers. Make me something good. Yeah. But there is a game you won't be able to make stuff on now. <laughs> See, he's, he's, I'm trying. You know what? You're off the I'm show. Trying. You're on. Oh, all right. I'm trying. <laughs> it's, it's like fine. Dustin, <laughs> Dustin and how far, look how far we've come. You went from like, hey, Ryan, I'd really love to be on Unlocked. Do you think it's, it's, to now like, whatever, replace me. I don't care. Oh it's fine. You know, Free you're my still, calendar up. You're still in vacation mode. You're in yeah, the like, I'm still I, like, whatever. I don't, he's, he's been back get, for three days. He's just been playing Doom. Like, he's just like, yeah, monster I get that way, yeah. though, after vacations where yeah. it's just like it takes it's a, a while to get snowball. to get back yeah. into the flow where you're just yeah. like I don't want to I want to be back on the vacation I was just yeah. on yeah. yeah for sure so I'll get there next like week back, but, you know. we get grumpy Destin this week Yay. next week <laughs> next week hopefully he'll be in a better mood uh, this this uh, 
this is why we're getting Halo 5 Forge <laughs> on PC. So, bad news here yeah. for uh, fans of people who want to make things yeah. with their Xbox. Unfortunately, Project Spark mm -hmm. has been canceled. This is not good news. Uh, this is a quote from a gentleman named Thomas Gratz, the community manager on Team Dakota for Project Spark. This was an extremely difficult decision for our team that we do not take lightly. When Project Spark transitioned away from active development last fall, many of our team members moved to other projects within Microsoft Studios. So here's the good news. No layoffs. Oh, Everybody cool. has been reassigned that's good. somewhere yeah. else. So that's good news. So Forge that, editor. That makes this, <laughs> maybe, that makes this like a hundred times less sad. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, this, so despite there being no layoffs, it was, quote, no longer feasible to continue the behind-the-scenes work involved with keeping Project Spark up and running with meaningful updates and bug fixes. It was just so can you still play it? It will be going offline in August. Okay. Oh, pardon me. That, okay. my, my voice just left me there for a second. August. Ryan's very sad disappear. about the, the Project Spark departure. <laughs> no, I mean, you know. it's It was an interesting concept. Yes. I just, I, I'm just like how, like this doesn't have mass appeal. Wait, that's the oh, thing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if people, by all accounts, if you gave this a chance, which Mitch did, Mitch, yeah, reviewed, Mitch, Mitch really liked it. Liked it. Yeah. If you did try it, it was pretty good. You liked mm. it, but yeah. uh, they just couldn't get a lot of, couldn't get it into a lot of people's hands. Yeah. I think, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to, uh, this is a period for mourning, but I will say, we said it from the get-go, the name Project Spark. It's not good. Guys. Kind of a weird. Yeah. What, what, that doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Well, and I don't know if it's telling or not, but it was the first Xbox One game that I saw like in retail bargain bins and stuff like that, clearance bins and stuff right. like that. And I'm like, oh, Xbox One games. And it's like, Project Spark. And I was like, oh, I don't know what that is. So. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know if a better name would have saved mm -hmm. Project Spark or if it would have made any difference, but... Uh, I will say, I mean, it, to the folks at Team Dakota who are now, you know, off on other things, you, you've, you've got something to be proud yeah. of. I mean, you, Pe you made something like excellent. Yeah, you did good work, and uh, I'm, glad, uh, I'm glad that everybody was able to, to uh, continue to make a living and not uh, find themselves laid off. Mm -hmm. Finally this week. Sticking to the Microsoft news, of course. What else would we be here for? Let's talk about Uncharted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Podcast Beyond. <laughs> I'm I'm in the middle like Judges Week came at the worst time. I couldn't review Doom, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was in the middle of Uncharted. Oh, so no. I'm in the middle of both I Uncharted. Started and, Uncharted oh, last man. night. Yeah, and Doom, and like I'm yeah. I love both of them, and now I'm like, well, which one do I play? Yeah. And you got to get them out of the way because E3 will be here in no time. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I got to get them both. I, but I've just I'm playing Doom first. I just oh, I'm okay. gonna, I want to get it's it's more it's more personal. It's more yeah, near and dear yeah, to me. Yeah, you know, yeah, for sure. Anyway, no, I got lucky. I was able to get Uncharted out of the way like the Thursday before Doom came out. So mm. yeah, you're, cool. you're uh, just turning and burning on yeah. those things. <laughs> All right. Okay, here. Microsoft is releasing. For those of you that have gamer tags, Destin, yeah, that you maybe aren't I, happy. I with. lost mine because I associated it with an email, and like mm. for some reason, my payment lapsed for like a week. Yeah, and they're just like, "Hey, that that gamer tag's gone forever now." So wow. actually, yeah. this news story is totally for you. I yeah. don't know if, if I don't think you had a chance to read over the planner I, this week because yeah. uh, you just got back and you <laughs> don't care yet. <laughs> but uh, this so this this news story actually is for you. Yeah. Microsoft is releasing almost a million gamer tags back into the wild that had mm -hmm. things that had gone away for yeah. exactly those kinds of cases. Because the problem is when if you had changed your gamer tag, your other one was just Locked. lost in a void. Like yeah. Microsoft didn't, it wasn't available. If yeah. you switched from Destin to Destin 2, yeah. Destin was just locked, was locked away. Yeah. yeah. It was it gone. Really so, yeah. Like, I, I didn't get a lot of those anniversary things. I've been an Xbox Live member since, like, basically its first few months. Oh, because mm -hmm. you had to start a new account? But I started a new account because I, I signed off for, like, a month. And then I got right. a new email. And because I switched internet service providers... Now it looks like you're only, like, just a seven-year like, member yeah. instead yeah. of a ten-year yeah. member. Yeah, so I'm super bummed about that. But at least I can get my gamer tag back now. Yeah, give it a yeah. look. Uh, yeah. It is there. Now, remember, so the, the rule is if you took a pre-assigned, if you just took like the random gamer tag that yeah. they gave you, no. uh, you can change it once for free. Yeah. But most people chose their gamer tag, yeah. and as such it will cost you $10 to change it. Uh, I actually changed mine the day we got our retail 360s oh, yeah. in September of 2005 <laughs> back at OXM. We yeah. got our, our final kits. 
and I knew that we'd be able to change gamer tags. Mm -hmm. My original gamer tag, which I suppose is now free available, can be yours today. I could go get it back. Yeah. I had iconoclast. I just liked the word. Oh, yeah. I liked what it meant. You know, it's kind of like okay, you know, nobody. It's like this sort of outsider thing. You know, it was dumb. Whatever I was in my twenties. Yeah. No, iconoclast. It's a word. Look it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> but see, what, you're exactly why I changed it because I would go on Xbox Live and people would try to would start to say it like in a Halo Two Iconoclast? lobby, and they'd be like, they'd yeah. just give up. Have to be like, I, and like it's not that hard. <laughs> but apparently, it is. I get Destinal. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I, I had changed mine to, of course, what it is now, Scorched Phoenix, which is equally stupid. But <laughs> the problem is, by even even by 2005, all the good gamer tags were yeah. taken. So I would say move quickly, because there are probably some good ones out there for the taking for a very short time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it'll cost you 10 bucks, but you can go on. Uh, you can do it. I don't know if you can actually do it on... PC, like do it through the website, but you can yeah, definitely do yeah. it through your Xbox One. Cool. At least they give you the option to change your name. I'm looking at you, PlayStation. Yeah, they <laughs> still never did. It's weird that they, yeah. uh, if you chose I remember something. Blizzard did this, I think it was a couple years back, where it was like it's you could change your World of Warcraft names and stuff like that. And they finally, they're like, okay, all the old ones, you can now use them again. And yeah. They, yeah. It's, it's got to be a database enough. thing. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Database purge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So get out there. If you've got a if you've got a gamer tag that you've been wanting that's uh that was unavailable. I've been wanting a comic again. class for years, so it is yours, <laughs> super, Mark. Super sad. <laughs> I have some good news. You are you <laughs> sir are in luck. Yes. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's get the heck out of here. You know, I'm gonna go to uh Mark Medina. What? New newcomer to yeah. the show. I'm going to go to you for the marketplace report, my because friend. Because my name's in it. That's true. Hey. hey! I feel like I was born for this role. You're born for this. You were Lady Gaga for this. Okay, I don't know what that means, but I'm just going to read the games born that this came way. out. Anybody? Anybody? Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, now I'm with you. <laughs> yeah, talk, what can we spend our money on this week, Mark? So Doom, we had a Friday release, super weird, but that came out May 13th. That was the last Friday week. Friday the 13th. And that came to Xbox One and everything else. Digital and retail. 60 bucks, I, don't know, right? I don't know what you guys tell people. Uh, yeah, $60. And then Tuesday, so two days ago, well, ah. depending on whenever, uh, we got Homefront The Revolution. Not a fan. Uh, nope. Yeah, is, says, says, um, says our reviewer, John Ryan, and is, pretty much the rest of the internet. Yeah, it's a little rough. game is not good. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. unfortunate. You know, that it's game kept at 30 now. on PC. What? Tell me, Ryan McCaffrey, why that happened. That makes no sense. Yeah, so I'm watching the first cutscene. I'm like, here File we go. Save and I'm like, why is this like, <laughs> seriously? And I'm like, why is this like look so rough on my PC with dual Titan X's? And then the game look at starts. This guy over here. <laughs> okay, it's my work PC. Calm Just down. Pulling this wiener around <laughs> yeah. and putting it on the table. <laughs> and I'm like, why does this look like this? I'm like, yeah, it's cool. It's a pre render cutscene, whatever. Then the game starts, and I'm like, oof. Ooh, and he's like sitting on the biggest couch ever. And it, it just runs weird. And I went V Sync everything. The, as far as I know, there's Man. no way to make that game run. Then so, it's just like, dear God, it's I'm running I just Alt F4. I'm like, I'm never playing this. Presumably game. it's 30 frames on <laughs> Xbox F4 One as delete. well. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is a game that I really wanted to be good. And to be fair, I would have a caveat. I haven't played the final version yet. Mm-hmm. Okay. I I will try to get to it after I finish Doom and Uncharted. Uh, I if, have one on my desk for Xbox One. Yeah. I was going to throw it in the garbage, but I guess I'll do that. <laughs> I, I definitely I would like to check it out. But, you know, I first I, t- I think I told this story before, but I first saw this game again. We're uh, at Judges Week two yeah. years ago. They unveiled it to the judges there uh, and it they showed it on. They had a vertical slice of the game running on a PC yeah. with this. And it was sa- it was the same concept. Philadelphia. With the was it the North, North Koreans, Koreans yeah. had come in and you know taken over and occupied America. Yeah. The and, concept's oh, actually cool. It's kind right. of dumb, but it is kind of no. Cool. It it is mm-hmm. cool. I agree. It's a you know it's something different. It's okay. You're in a you're in a city. Uh, it's you know open world elements, but yeah. still you know story driven yeah. and you know with with solid shooter mechanics. I really liked the original. Even though the campaign was literally three hours long, and I finished it in one sitting at my wow. desk. Oh yeah. my! The but the multiplayer is what made uh, the original Homefront really cool. And this game doesn't even have multiplayer and because the original uh, the original game it was it was all v- super vehicle based, large scale multi. I think it was twenty four players, 
And yeah, just really cool vehicles, good maps. Because it was made by this team called Chaos Studios mm. that had made a name for themselves making a uh, Battlefield 2 mod called Desert Combat, which was oh, really, yeah, really yeah. popular. Mm -hmm. And they, so they were a group of modders, you know, yeah. they, and they became, they, they graduated to the, to the big leagues. You know, they became a full studio called Chaos with a publishing deal with THQ. THQ, and, right? Yeah, yeah they, and their first game was called Frontline's Fuel of War, which I also really liked and also had really good multiplayer. Then Homefront. And then, unfortunately, THQ's Troubles and the fa this studio was located in Manhattan, which is mm. as expensive or even more than running a studio in San Francisco. Right. That studio, unfortunately, closed. They moved development to... Uh, T they had a THQ Montreal yeah. briefly, and uh, but then of course THQ crumbles. The fire sale. Crytek bought the whole thing, lock, stock, and barrel, and s they set the Time Splitters team, who are now Crytek UK, on it. So effectively, the yeah. revolution had has nothing to do with the original game. Two yeah. has nothing to do with one. Yeah. yeah, that's why this one doesn't even have multiplayer. Yeah. You're telling this whole story, and actually, there's been a lot of news stories about the ending. Yes. There's actually a scene from uh, one of the creators thanking the everybody the and yeah. ta talking about these uh, challenges that yes. they faced. Yeah, and uh, and saying there's more to come. Yeah, I mean that was the surprising thing. Right. I mean. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? That could mean anything. Right? Yeah, yeah, that could just that that could, could be DLC or it could be a right. Could mean yeah, anything. I doubt it's DLC. I guess it's, the, yeah. the yeah. point of this long-winded story about mm. this this game is that even though it seemingly didn't turn out very well, it's because it went through development hell. Yeah, the fact that's that, why. Right, the fact yeah. that they that so the it's game 2010, it, yeah, yeah, it's the, just been turmoil. The fact that the game made it to the finish line after yeah. every all that mm -hmm. is. A testament to the the people that made it and yeah. they, how much they cared about because, making it happen. You know, I've I fundamentally have no idea how hard game development is. Yeah, yeah. but I get glimpses of it through talking to these developers and covering games and visiting mm -hmm. game studios and watching things like the Sprint, which was that Halo Five documentary last year, oh, okay. and like Double Fine Adventure, uh, the the documentary yeah. for for Broken Age, and it's like. Game development, I know, is even harder than I even have glimpses of what it is. So yeah. for for Homefront, the revolution, to have made it and gotten out and gotten done, it's unfortunate the game isn't, it didn't quite turn out as well as the potential yeah. suggested it, it. We hoped it would, but, but you know, I, I, I saw that same... Uh, Thank message. you screen, yeah. thank you message at the end of the credits that, mm -hmm. that was you know making its way around online, and I really I really appreciated that. Like I I, I felt for that team. Like good for you guys that you made it. You know, well, you and got John, there. John gave it a five, which on our scale is okay. Yeah, it's okay. And so Not it's bad. like you know like maybe yeah maybe wait. To yeah, if it hits the bargain bin, and right? Eventually, and eventually pick it up. Exactly. People you might here, like it. Some people. Yeah, people hear five out of ten and they're like, "That is garbage." But it's just like yeah. nobody uses the full scale. Everybody well, uses yeah. seven to ten There's, on the internet. The other, right, you know, right, yeah. right. true, but the Anything other below seven is crap. The other part of that problem, yeah. Yeah. I think that's it's a two part problem. You just said part one. Part yeah. two of that problem is that the bar the for quality in particularly shooters yeah. mm -hmm. is so high yeah. these days because yeah. you're competing with well, the game Halo. The exactly, game, yeah. and the game feels a lot like the division. Where it's kind of like that safe housey kind huh. of mm -hmm. like, but in first person. But in first person, yeah, yeah. of course. So it's like not not necessarily plays like the division, of but course like, not. But yeah. like taking over, kind of like running from safe house to safe house, mm -hmm. kind right. of thing. Kind of feels kind of divisiony. And uh, I know, like me and you, we played a ton of the division. So yeah. to jump back into home front, I just I was like, no, I'm okay. Right yeah, now. maybe maybe six months down the line. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's uh, the, the it's it's tough to compete in the shooter world and. Yeah, uh, it's it's a shame that Homefront seemingly isn't as excellent as its as its premise suggested. But yeah, I mean, Mark makes a good point. Like, yeah. maybe wait it out, wait for yeah. it to to catch a deal. Maybe it'll be twenty bucks. Maybe maybe it'll get down to ten at some point. Yeah. Maybe it'll be a free game with gold. We'll get a Steam winner sale down. eventually. Yeah, and, you know, absolutely. Give it a look. All right, uh, let's move on. Yeah, Mimic let's move on. Arena. It's a same screen multiplayer platform shooter. I don't know what you guys say when you guys read this. So I'm just going to read yeah, it. Yeah, everything well, you read I'm it. just trying to help <laughs> because no one's ever heard of any of these. Yeah, so I've heard of Subnautica. All right. I don't hey, know what good. it is. Quit jumping <laughs> the gun. Water. Yeah. Quit jumping the gun. Next, we got Super Knight Riders. It's 
It's a modern arcade racing game. Nothing to do with Kit. Okay. Uh, then, yeah, Subnautica. Monica, or, um, <laughs> David Hasselhoff. I think that Subnautica was the one that came to PC originally, and now it's coming to Xbox. We played it at one of the game preview weeks. That's so is this game not it. out yet? It's in game preview. So it's in game preview. Yeah. So okay. you can pay 20 bucks and have and it And then you'll get every like, update right, ever. It's yeah. kind of like Arc. Oh, okay. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Great way to put it. Yeah. Moving on, we got Gun World 2. It's a or retro Minecraft. inspired action slash platformer RP slash RPG hybrid. <laughs> yeah, uh, p- pixel graphics. That game like does everything. Yeah. <laughs> and then Grand, P- Grand Prix Rock and Racing. It's Finally. Top, top down indie racer. Yeah, you know, if you've ever played. The, Dustin's been waiting for that one. The old yeah. school. You remember, <laughs> do you guys remember from the from the arcades way back in the day, the. Uh, what the. What the it, uh, Ivan Stewart's Off-Road Racing. It was a three-player arcade cabinet mm. uh, with three steering wheels. No, not ringing That I don't remember, but I remember playing like but top-down, those yeah, like, so little it, RC it, cars. Yeah, exactly. It's, yeah, it's yeah. that perspective, which when I, when I looked this up, I was like, oh, that's cool. I like yeah. that they're doing kind of the old-school top-down camera, so you'll just sure. kind of steer your car through the track. And mm. It seemed like it could be fun. Be one night, $6.40, give it a give it Yeah, a why not? Yeah. And then Games with Gold. Yes. We have Defense Grid 2, that's all month. Costume Quest 2, which is the uh, what the 16th through June That is 15th. now. Yep, that is out. That is up now. And on Xbox 360, we have Grid 2. Oh, that's, that's over. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah that's over. Yep. And then Pagel from May 16th to the 31st. Get Pagel. For the Pagel rest of is month. one of the best puzzle yeah. games ever made. Yeah. yeah. Do yourself a favor. Yeah, if you have Xbox One, download Xbox it. Live, just grab it. Yeah, mm-hmm. playable on your Xbox One. Yeah. Don't miss that one. They, you know, they had, uh, these are good games, but they had some, like, gargantuan titles there for, like, a few months. Yeah. Well, I'm, last I'm, month in I'm particular. always curious, like, ooh, what's it going to be next? Pool yeah. Nation again? Or, you know, Saints Row? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess uh, we might, with Memorial Day, we might find out June's next week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it'll be in time for next week's show, but we yeah. shall see. We'll have to... Any any predictions for June? Oh, I don't know. E, you know, June what is E3, think? right? So it's like, that's kind of a tough month. It'll probably be something good because usually they want to be able to say, and look, and this month, this That's game is point. free. Yeah. You know, so like one of the Call of Duties, maybe. You know, maybe, maybe. they could work out that with that. Well, maybe if you want to shoot lower to yeah. what we were talking about earlier with Red Dead, it is maybe maybe they don't do Xbox One port, but they're like, here's the backwards compatibility. That's possible. And it's, and it's free on Xbox That's One. That's entirely what possible. What if they did something crazy like the core version of Destiny, but that not the no Taken way. King? Not yeah. a chance. <laughs> it's too messy. No, it's yeah. too. There's. They're, that game's still making too much money yeah, for the game yeah. buying free. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's come right back. Take a short break here. A uh, little musical interlude. We'll be right back with your unlock block trivia. Destin, chance to to put some distance. You know, get get some points get on the board up. here. Yeah. yeah. Catch and up. I'm playing for funsies. Playing for funsies, which is the best kind of way to play. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Unlock block trivia time. Let's see. Let me check on the score situation here. First of all, our winner this week, damn it, didn't write it down. <laughs> Congratulations, damn Congratulations. it. Congratulations. Well, right. he didn't put it in his email, so I'll just sort that out later. <laughs> our question comes to us from Anonymous, Yay. except it's not really Anonymous, who had said, Alana has been a fantastic addition to the podcast. Her humor and wit have augmented the show really well. It's Deus Ex style, augmenting. Oh. <laughs> so uh, I think this question was in her honor, which is unfortunate that she's not here. Because it was about Alan Wake, which she doesn't super like that much, and I love. Uh, what was the name of Alan Wake's wife? And I remind everybody, the ghost of Mitch is at six points. Is Mitch beating me? Yeah. Destin's oh at goodness. five, so you got to at least tie the Wait, ghost I'm of Mitch. Wait, I'm still second? No, oh, no Marty's, Marty's at seven. At seven. Okay. Mm. So uh, I get to just inherit Mitch's points. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you show up enough, maybe. Yeah. We might do that. So, guys, what do you think? What was the name of Alan Wake's wife? Was it Amber, Janice, Jane, or Alice? Mark did in circle one, so he should go first. Because, oh, because yeah. I literally have no idea. So, yeah, I'll go first, and I'll say B, Janice. Oh, you, you missed out on uh, Alan Wake, huh? Yeah, yeah. no, I, I just, I don't know. I just, I, I remember playing it, and I remember it overheated my PC. That's when I was playing games on PC. And that game... Super pretty at the time. Yes. And yeah, for some reason, it overheated my computer, and I was like, you know what? I, just, I don't know. I just ended up never going back. Uh, but it, is it backwards compatible? Yo, yes. Yes, well, it is. Well, also, it's on PC. I, yeah. I definitely want to play it sometime. You because I, there's been rumors forever that there'd be a second one. Yeah. It's yeah. really good. I think. One, I play Quantum Break, and Remedy is just, they're, they're a good studio. They're good yeah. people. Yeah. yeah, they know I, what they're I doing. I definitely Destin? want to go back. 
I do you also, think? I also had no no idea, so I went oh. with B, Janice, because the name sounded funny. We were both a Janice? Yeah. All right, let's do this. I was well, just like, just imagine if uh, uh, my wife, Janice. <laughs> 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 well, uh, some sound we're both logic. wrong based sound on the logic of so Absolutely wrong. It's Jane, isn't it? Nobody's getting a point. It's Alice. Yeah. Yeah. Alice and Alan. Alan and Alice Wake. <laughs> yeah. See, gotta, I, I didn't do Alice because I'm like, they're not going to do A and A. So I, yeah. st- I took away those two. Nope. Mm-hmm. See, you got to remember. That's my bad. You got to remember. Uh, Sam Lake at Remedy, like he he writes a certain way. So uh, okay. you, know, you could have in fact narrowed it to those two, but instead you eliminated those I did. two. I did. I was like, "There's no way." Only a crazy person well, would name the wife <laughs> Alice. <laughs> Unlock block a total disaster this week Sorry, because guys. the question was for Alana. She's not here. I you guys I screwed up gonna... the question, and I didn't write down the name of the winner. So <laughs> what a what a lovely segment. What? I think I'm going to lose this year. <laughs> I'm not doing you're, well. You're, That's like four weeks in a row. I haven't gotten a point. <laughs> but there's a lot of... But nobody got, else is here. Yeah. So it's, That's I the mean, thing. Yeah. You've got more than half a year. You've no got like game, seven no months we'll to go. Well, yeah, I'm yeah. not that far. I'm one, two points behind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you're, yeah. you're right there. You're right. right, in the, right. It just doesn't feel like it. Yeah. yeah. All it takes, though. All it takes is This one year's week. just going by so fast. And Marty's a star now, so who knows if he has time. Who knows? Who knows if Marty has time. noon. Oh, my goodness. All right, so if you would like to win a copy of a video game, as our anonymous uh, winner this week Mm -hmm. will, we've got lots of codes, which which are kindly donated by the audience in most cases, Mm. for the Gears games that are backwards compatible, the Alan Wake, uh, and uh, Alan Wake games, meaning Alan Wake and the standalone spinoff American Nightmare. Uh, And I think I might still have some Quantum Break codes for the PC version. Ooh. That was that were donated by people as well. So you gotta have Windows 10 though, just so you know. <laughs> send your Xbox related trivia question, including four multiple choice answers. Note the correct one and email that to unlocked at ign.com. That's the part where you're supposed to say, "Where, Mitch?" Yeah, he's. But he's not here. He's he's in Canada. Yeah, sorry. Poor Maybe bastard. if I yell out just enough, kidding. he'll hear me. <laughs> you call him on the phone. Where, uh, Mitch? It's like, it it it's, an it's like, sorry, I deleted all your guys' phone numbers. Who is this? <laughs> yeah, who is this? <laughs> yeah. Let's get the heck out of here. It's already, it's late as it always is. Yeah. Uh, I remind you to uh, watch us on the Xbox One IGN app. Mm-hmm. Of course, it's a free download. Then we're on your big TV. Who wouldn't want this face <laughs> on your on the largest screen in your home? Oh my! For real. So give that a look. It's a really cool way to watch IGN videos. In fact. You should download it if you haven't already to get ready for E3 because you're gonna. We're on the air all day, all week, of E3 with live stuff. You know the press conferences, etc. The, the Xbox One app is actually a killer way to watch. Probably the best way to watch it because throw it on on your TV, then you can be on your computer doing stuff, your phone doing stuff, mm-hmm. but still be watching and checking in on what's going on at E3. So give that a look. Uh, what else? Oh, our, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah. We're putting all the episodes, all the clip outs, and we're going to be getting the ball rolling on some unlocked Let's Plays. You know, yeah. we've been talking about doing Blinks. We've been talking about doing <laughs> Alan Wake. Do cameo. We've been talking about doing uh, Mass Effect 1 for Marty and oh making boy. him play. So subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash IGN unlocked, all one word mm-hmm. together. We couldn't get just unlocked. Unlocked some, was taken. Yeah, some <laughs> that's, crazy. That's my channel where I just unlock stuff. <laughs> I know. Yeah, you're, yeah, talk, yeah. You're, you're just yeah. squatting on that yeah, domain. Yeah. You, you bastard. I unlocked it. Will I open it? <laughs> Find out next episode. Find out now on our next yeah. subscribe and like my video stuff. below. I just yeah. unlock them. Yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments yeah. below. Hit my Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. So uh, I'm going to turn it over to our... First time awesome guest, Mark. Thank you. What do you want to plug? What uh, oh, What's man. your Twitter? Where can we follow you? What have you been working on for IGN that so we Twitter, should check out? Uh, let's see. At Mark underscore Medina. Uh, a lot of my clips don't really get tagged as like me. I'm the gameplay editor, so I just make a bunch of gameplay clips. You're code. literally like the Wizard of Oz here, basically. <laughs> You're just like the man behind the curtain. Yeah. I do a bunch of streams, though, so that's cool. Every Wednesday, uh, I've been streaming with Naomi, so those are fun. And then I also made the Doom graphics comparison, where it's it's not the actual graphics comparison. I made that, too. But it's the uh, the <laughs> Doom Humble versus brain. yeah, Doom versus the old Doom. And oh, the first nice. one. Really yeah. funny. Yeah, That's the first cool. Doom. And so it's really funny. So if you want to see a funny Doom video, check I do that want out. to see that. In fact, <laughs> you haven't seen it. Oh, I, I, I don't think I it's mean, funny. It. It's more it's interesting so to see the evolution of the product <laughs> and, and of gaming. Yeah. Destin, 
Nothing. Follow me on Twitter at Destin Legary. I just got back from vacation. Still kind of figuring. Some you're stuff in out. IDGAF mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then E3. And then E3, yeah, where yeah, you're going to yeah. have to care yeah. real quick. Yeah. Mm. Um, what can I say? We will uh, not be doing anything fancy for episode 250, which is coming up. We'll mm. save it for 300. In fact, we're probably going to hope. I'm, well. You know what? Forget it. I'm not going to say <laughs> even what I want because then it'll just create an expectation. Yeah. Forget it. Uh, nothing fancy going on for 250, but we're planning on uh, hopefully doing Unlocked live. Like, we're basically, the intention is to make our post Xbox conference show that week's Unlocked. Oh, so it'll cool. be us uh, sitting in. I'm trying to get That's Phil what we did Spencer. Last year, right? We yeah. did not. Oh, okay. No. Mm. We, we, we actually, did that one other we time. We didn't end up yeah. doing a show. Two years ago, I think yeah. we just re we recorded like on the at stage. Night, on That's our right. stage. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. But then last week, we technically didn't do a show from E3. I recorded the the Seamus Phil That's Peter right. thing, That's which, right. which aired later. Episode. That's by the way not happening again. That was a <laughs> that was a one time deal. I don't want anybody to think that that's now like every a year. normal thing we do. Yeah. yeah, it's just all team up every year. That took six months to put together. <laughs> that is, that is uh, not happening again. Just FYI, just tr just watch it again, treasure yeah. it. But um, yeah, so the plan is for us to be for our post show for the ex like right after the Xbox conference it's us. Yeah. Sweet. Um so that's that's going to be our episode of Unlock next week. So it'll actually be the technically I think the first time we've ever done a a, a live episode that's broadcast. Oh, cool. mm -hmm. Cuz remember we did the house party mm -hmm. last year which was live for the people in the room. Yeah. yeah. But then it was recorded and posted later for everyone else. So this will be this will be the true, like, don't curse. <laughs> like, we're actually live this time. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be nothing fun. Nothing will go through. wrong. No, no, what could possibly go <laughs> yeah, wrong? Nothing. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at DMC underscore Ryan. Uh, I've got a Tesla Motors podcast, if you like electric cars. And uh, it's called Ride the Lightning. Check that out. You can just search it on iTunes or uh, it's just teslapodcast.libsyn. That's my the provider that I use, dot com. Mm. Uh, what else can I tell you? Oh, IGN Prime. Would love it if you would subscribe to that. That is a $30 trade-off. You give us $30, we'll give you a year of ad-free IGN, both videos and the IGN website. So that's a great way to support us and get yourself a better IGN viewing experience at the same time. And you get a game every month. Yeah, we've got free games, occasional like beta code giveaways yep. on there as well. So we try to incentivize it as much as we possibly can. And I think that's it. I want to that's thank it. everybody for listening. Most of you get it on iTunes, but again, we encourage the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash IGN Unlocked, and watch us on the Xbox One app as well, the IGN Xbox One app. So for Mark Medina, Destin Legary, I think this was, uh, by the way, Mark, great first appearance. Thank you. <laughs> Good job. I uh, you added. It's a lot I of like you. You can stay. Okay. <laughs> you can stay. I, I gotta go. I, I have to Destin's just stay in here though. Like I'm just. <laughs> yeah. They're, yeah. Like, they're gonna walk in. I'm like I'm waiting for unlock. Yeah. Wait like, for next Sunday week. night. What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you still here? I'm, so, I'm ready. Don't you have to eat or go to the bathroom or something? Like I'm holding it all. I live. I live here now. I'm. I'm fine. All right. Uh, let's hit the road. We'll see you guys for 2:47 next week. Bye. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>